been a violent week in Nashville, and that story reminding us of that from a mass shooting on Jefferson Street, a homicide uh, in Antioch on a greenway there, and a pedestrian killed in a DUI in downtown. This morning, the Metro Public Health Department is sharing their plan to ensure safety and violence uh, prevention moving forward. Peyton Kendi is live downtown after hearing from that director. Peyton. And Blake, the Public Health Department says this is a collaborative approach with other city agencies and also our local first responders. They say their approach is in three parts, outreach, case management, and counseling. They work to connect the at-risk community to potentially life-changing resources that promote overall well-being. I'm told that people impacted by violent acts specifically in the past two weeks are currently connected to counseling. Over the past nine months, the behavioral health team has grown from five members to 34 and counting. The idea is to help residents heal from dramatic incidents so they don't act out in unhealthy or potentially dangerous ways. We begin by helping those at highest risk of falling into a life of violence while ensuring our community is resilient enough to avoid and, and discontinue using violence in the future. Yeah, that message is to increase resilience and reduce violence. Live in Nashville, Peyton Kennedy, News 2.